Today I want to share a very fun integral with you guys and it's from MIT 2006 Integration B. It's a competition where you try to integrate some expression as quickly as possible and I have a link to the video down below if you guys want to check it out. But today we are going to be concerned with the integral of x to the negative 1f power, that's very exciting, divided by 1 plus x to the 1 third power dx. The first thing I thought of personally was to let our u, by making u substitution of u is equal to 1 plus x to the 1 third power, just let u be the denominator of the fraction. And I was trying to work with this and you guys should try it out. It doesn't really come out nicely because du is 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds dx and you have x to the negative 1 half going on that you gotta break down as x to the negative 2 thirds and some other expression and you got to use the fact that x to the 1 third is u minus 1 and make some substitutions and you are left with very complex looking expression that I, I personally don't like to deal with. So maybe 1 plus x to the 1 third as u is not the way to go. So what is the way to go? And it turns out the best way to evaluate this is by letting our u be x to the 1 6 power and you may say why that seems so random and it turns out it's not as random as it may seem because you have 1 plus x to the 1 6 squared in the denominator and from calculus 1 class you guys may remember integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared du is arc tangent of u plus c because when you differentiate arc tangent of u you get 1 plus 1 over 1 plus u squared so because we're making the denominator denominator of this fraction in the form 1 plus u squared maybe arc tangent is where we are heading towards so let's keep that in mind arc tangent so what do we do now well we gotta somehow get our du, so our du is 1 6 times x to the negative 5 6 dx, so we gotta somehow have our du on top of this fraction somehow, so let's try that out, so we have, so let's start by multiplying by 6 and dividing by 6, so we have our required 1 6 inside the integral, and we want to break x to the negative 1 half in terms of x to the negative 5, 6 and something else. So we want to break this as x to the negative 5, 6. And since x to the negative 1 half is x to the negative 3, 6, we want to multiply by x to the 2, 6. And you want to divide this and you have dx and you want to divide by 1 plus x to the 1, 6 squared. And let's try to make some sense of this. We have 6 times integral of 1, 6 x to the negative 5, 6 dx, this part is precisely our du, that was the entire point of it. But what about x to the 2, 6? What do we do with x to the 2, 6? Well, because u is x to the 1, 6, x to the 2, 6 is u squared. So we have, so we have, let's try to simplify this, divided by 1 plus x to the 1, 6, 1, 6 squared. We have 6 times integral of, we have u squared u squared times du times du divided by 1 plus u squared so this thing came out to be this and let's write let's remember u was x to the 1 6 power so what do we do now well we gotta somehow integrate this and the easiest way of doing that is by dividing this using polynomial division you have u squared divided by u squared plus 1 so that's what we are trying to find. And u squared goes into u squared once. So let's write 1. And you multiply it out to get u squared plus 1. Subtracting gets us negative 1. So we, you have remainder of negative 1 over u squared plus 1. So this expression turns out to be 6 times integral of 1 minus 1 over u squared plus 1 du. And this is very easy to evaluate. Integrating 1 gets us u. Integrating 1 over u squared plus 1, as I mentioned before, is precisely arc tangent of u plus c. So we have u minus arc tangent of u plus c. And u, our u was x to the 1 6 power. So let's plug that in. So we have our integral being 6 times x to the 1 6 x to the 1 6, let me make that look like fraction, minus arc tangent of x to the 1 6 plus c, and we are done.